I can't believe I'm doing one of these. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, I'm going to be breaking down the top 10 most underrated analog horror videos. First, I am going to have to explain to you the rules that I have placed upon myself in order to make this list and how many of those rules that I broke within the process of making the list. It is so hot. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, okay, that's better. Wind again, please don't sue me. So anyway, the rules I've made up for myself to follow in the process of creating this list and that I inevitably broke four or five different times are as follows. The channels that I feature cannot have over 100,000 subs. The videos I show cannot have over a million views. And while most have significantly less than those limitations, a couple of them exceed that. And criteria to make this list is how much I like it personally. So basically, what you're not going to see on this list is the Walton Files, the Mandela Catalog, the Backrooms, Gemini Home Entertainment, Local 58, other ones. None of those big ones like that. Not on this list. That's basically the only rule I did stick to. I wasn't going to use like some of the massive analog horror videos. I'm only going to be talking about smaller videos and smaller channels and emphasis on the ER, you know, smaller, small-ish. Some of them are pretty big. Uh, most of them are bigger than this channel. But the point is to put you guys on to some underrated analog horror. So let's go ahead and get into it with number 10. Sorry. I'm sorry. At number 10, I have a video called Cloud Observation. I think it's Analog Horror Cloud Observation by a channel called Master214. The channel has under 100 subs. This video has under 2,000 views. And it's basically a cosmic horror video about a cloud. Need I say more? Go and watch it. Number 9. Okay, I promise that's the last time. Sorry, chills. Number nine is something I covered a while back on the channel on the very first video that actually ever did any good. So I owe this a debt of gratitude. This is a series called Project Orbesia. The channel had been around for a matter of days when I first covered it. Project Orbesia is an Instagram account and a YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel utilizes analog horror in order to make tell the story and the Instagram sort of builds the world, flushes it out, and makes it, it's almost like a high fantasy, high sci-fi hybrid. Very cool. I'm anxious to see where this project is going, or if it will continue to go, I'm not for sure, but what is there is brilliant, and I encourage you to go check it out. Links will be in the description for all of these videos. All right, moving on. Number eight is this. I'm sorry, I don't know how to, I don't, I don't speak another language other than my own. Uh, but, you know, I think it's, if you look up Onigiri Cat, it comes up. I hope I said Oni, I don't know what it's called. Onigiri. I'm going to go ahead and use my white man's verbiage and call it Onigiri Cat. Onigiri. This is a channel that kind of posts some anthology analog horror. And we're going to see a couple more of those later on down the list. And I'm only going to focus on one specific video. And that video is called The Backside of the Moon. What more could you ask for with analog horror? We got creepy faces, um, cosmic entities that, you know, stretch the mind and bend the fabric of reality and make you question, you know, God and religion and all of this. And, uh... You know, you got the thing, it's blanked out, so you don't know what they're talking about the whole time. It's brilliant. Go watch it. Number seven is Winter of 83. This is one of those ones that kind of stretches the boundary of underrated, although I still think it does count, unlike maybe a couple of the others later on. Winter of 83 was covered brilliantly by a YouTuber named Jay Bird. How you doing, Jay? I don't, I don't know him. We comment on each other's stuff. But, uh. Anyway, I recommend you check out his video to get the full story. But basically, it follows around a news station and reporters while, and some scientists while some really weird stuff goes down in the snow. And with the snow. You'll never build a snowman again. Winter of 83 is created by Linkara atop the fourth wall. Links will be below. Number six, The Scooby-Doo Project. Okay, look, this video has over a million views. It's not underrated. Arguably, it's not analog horror. I, I, I just have to talk about this thing. It's based on 
The Blair Witch Project, which is constantly cited as the first analog horror, so I'm counting it. And it follows Scooby-Doo and the gang in a Blair Witch Project-like video. The voices are... It's like watching an episode of Scooby-Doo. It's, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen on the internet. Please, please watch it. I've wanted to talk about this for a while and I have absolutely no idea how. So I'm just shoehorning it in here at number six. Okay, moving on. From here on out, I'm, I'm more confident with the picks. Those first five could really go anywhere. Number five is a channel called Moth. And I you can't find the channel. If you look up Moth, it just doesn't come up. I've typed it in every way you possibly could. It doesn't come up. You have to Google one of the names of the videos. And that video is called The Gonsfeld Experiment. Now I explored this in a video of mine, which might be right here. If it's not right there and I couldn't figure that out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rethink my life choices. I mean, put it down in the description, and as well as linking off to the original Moth site. Moth also has several other analog horror series. It's another one of those anthology horror channels where not necessary. There's multiple stories going on at the same time, and uh, all of them are very, very good. I encourage you to go check it out. The Gonsville Experiment, in my opinion, is the creepiest because it's all about staring into blank spaces and seeing things and then losing your sense of self and becoming another person. Really freaky stuff. All right, moving on to number four. The Foundation Files. Foundation Files was made by a YouTuber called Raging Wizards. He does kind of reaction to analog horror and other stuff on his, video on his YouTube channel. However, The Foundation Files was just a project he undertook and it's by far the most popular thing on his channel. There's claymation in this. I mean, claymation, come on. That's awesome for analog horror. And it's very, very scary. It follows these weird creatures of this foundation that either houses them. It's kind of like SCP, but not really. But there's these weird creatures, and they're freaky looking. The coolest thing about this, though, and the reason it's ranked so high, is because you can play a game <laughs> via unlisted videos on the channel. The first video in the playlist for the Foundation Files will just give you a rundown that, hey, this is, the, this is what's going on. Are you a new employee or an old employee? And you can pick new or old, and it'll take you down a path of unlisted videos. You just click on the video, and things happen. It's like a little point-and-click adventure game, but made using YouTube videos, uh, which is by far the most original thing I have seen. If someone else has done it before, then, you know, I was lost on me, but... To me, that was the most original and cool thing I have ever seen in any analog horror series. You always see the unlisted videos and stuff in the descriptions, but this one was like, it was a game. It's literally called Analog Horror Game. It, it's really cool. I recommend you check it out. So let's move on to number three. We're going to cover another whole channel here and all of their entire body of anthology analog horror work, and that is Vintage 8. Vintage 8 has a thing called Children Under the House, which they have turned into a book. Vintage 8 has Nobody, which I covered in that other video I mentioned. Vintage 8 also has a series called Sinkhole. Vintage 8 has lots of really good and really original analog horror stories to tell, and I think is one of the most underrated analog horror series by far. Now, before we crack the top two, I would love to talk about a series that I can't in good conscience call analog horror. However, it's one of my favorite internet horror series, so it needs a place on the list. I almost put this at number one. It is called The Uriel Files. I have two videos on the channel about this, soon to be three. I swear this isn't just a commercial for my channel. Like, this is its own standalone video, but please go watch those videos afterwards. Two more shameless plugs to come, by the way. Anyway, I really like The Uriel Files. It's the most original story I've ever read. It's told in the most original way I have ever seen. It's phenomenal. I can't possibly say enough about this series. It was created by an Instagram user named Med Induce Posting. There's no YouTube videos. It is all on Instagram. His account, however, is private. And as, I'm, as I've been made aware, he's no longer accepting followers. So I am terribly sorry to all of you that you don't get to experience the series for yourself. But I am going to bring it all to you very soon with a final part of the whole series. So stay tuned for that. All right, moving on down to number two. Now these last two could really be placed kind of however, but I did place them this way 
and then think the other thing and go back later and look at it. And I was like, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave them ranked how they are because I ranked them this way just thinking, and it's like, you know what? That's probably my more accurate opinion. When I start thinking too much about things, I start, you know, um, talking myself into opinions I don't really have. So number two is Vita Carnis. This series is amazing. And like I said, I almost changed this to number one. The storytelling, the world building, the secrets, the mysteries, the lies, the deception, the jump scares. My God. What more could you want? I, I think you all know about this series already. If not, <laughs> shameless plug. Also, other people. I mean, other people have made great videos about this. I think Wow Man did, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I don't watch. <laughs> but anyway, Vita Carnis. Extremely scary series, extremely well done, very effective analog horror, very original story. It's pretty good. Moving on down to number one. I think you all know what was coming here. This is one of those ones that I'm not really sure if you could call underrated. I, I don't know if you could call Vita Carnis underrated either, but I'm still going to call both of these underrated because they're both fairly underrated. Because they're not two of the biggest like they should be. Urban Spook. Yes, you all knew it was coming. Urban Spook, possibly the best underrated analog horror series ever. It's realistic, it's gritty, it's disturbing. It'll leave you feeling uneasy the rest of your day. There's no jump scares. There's no entities that are going to replace human beings. It's simply the story of a serial killer. And as we all know, those things are real. And this this is pretty heavy stuff. It's pretty dark and disturbing. It's it's something else. It's it's next tier. It's next level stuff. And I believe this might be the only one I covered today that has merch. I could be wrong. There might be Vita Carnis merch. There might be Vintage 8 merch. I don't know. If there is, find it yourself. I encourage you to go watch all of these on your own. But there is the list. I'm going to list them all out for you again. Here we go. Number 10 was Cloud Observation. Number 9 was Project Orbesia. Number 8 was Onigri Cat. Number 7 was Winter of 83. Number 6, The Scooby-Doo Project. Number 5, Moth. Number 4, Foundation Files. Number 3, Vintage 8. Number 2, Vita, Carnis. And number 1, Urban Spook. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.